real estate business in 2023. So, as you guys, if you guys have been paying attention and watching my previous videos, I've been letting you guys know, you know, how the real estate market is doing for myself and also what's necessarily been going on in real estate for the average American, right? So, if you haven't been and you're probably new to the channel, of course, like and subscribe. But I want to say, um, as you guys know, for the, the average American right now in the United States cannot buy a home. You know, if you're making anywhere upwards to $50,000 to $100,000 um, or even a little bit more than that, it's very hard for you to even save money and it's really hard for you to uh, buy a home. Especially if you're trying to take care of a family. Now, if you're probably living by yourself, that's probably a different story. But, you know, chances are very slim. Especially if you don't have the cash shaped up. So, my problem and how that hurt me was because with me being, you know, young, a lot younger than, you know, most people in the real estate business. My niche audience was people, that, people in, you know, the average American niche. People who are, you know, maybe just now getting out of college or just getting their, you know, full-time career job and, you know, they're ready to buy a home. So, you know, of course, you know, they're working with me. You know, I do good business. You know, I know what I'm talking about. I know how to show them homes. This and the third. Well, that was my bread and butter. So, I, t you know, over time, you know, I've talked to several different investors, but that wasn't my niche. That wasn't my target audience, right? So, my problem is that I ended up focusing on one specific target audience. And now, in 2020, 2023 came along, you know. So also, let, let, let's do this. So my real, I, let's go way back. So my real estate business actually did not start getting good until COVID. And so during, during COVID, when the government started flooding the markets with money, uh, that's really when, you know, my business seen a boom because everybody had money. Well, now we're back down to reality and nobody has money. And I wasn't in the real estate business before where people didn't have money. So now it's now we're at a point to where, okay, uh, everybody's living in reality, but prices are still going up and people is not getting flooded with money anymore from the government. So now, you know, even if you take advantage of a first-time home buyer program, the average American doesn't make as much as they should, as much as they uh, could have been making or should have been making in the past year or so. So now prices are continuing to rise as well as interest rates. So people are either scared or they just simply can't do it because they can't afford it and they can't get pre-approved. And credit nine seven one ten, their credit is trash. So now. We're at a, now we're at a point to where, you know, things is kind of looking crazy. But it hurt me because that was my niche and that was my target audience. It was the average American, uh, particularly um, either, you know, single women or, or, or newly new couples who, you know, are just now starting their journey when it came to buying a home. And my problem is I didn't branch out into, you know, I was trying to branch out to the luxury, luxury market, but... It wasn't happening fast enough. You know, my bread and butter, you know, the I was really just getting my feet with, you know, with the average American. So now, you know, now that the business is kind of, everything is pretty much slowed down. And a, lot, and for a lot of realtors are actually feeling the effect of this uh, countrywide. A lot of people are just not going to come to the internet and say it. But, you know, I really don't care. And then also, you know, if you guys watch the channel, I got a lot of other stuff going on anyway. You know, with the, especially with the digital marketing agency, you know the oils, the affiliate program with the oils, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I got a lot going on. But regardless of any of that stuff, uh, I didn't branch out until pretty much now. So, um, you know, I start, now I started linking up with, you know, a lot of investors, you know, ch start changing my target audience to investors and whatnot. But, you know, I say that to say, you know, if you do have a real estate business or any business of some sort, while it's good to have that niche audience, always be willing to expand and, you know, try to reach other different, you know, targets and reach other different people. Because honestly, you know, honestly, you know, had it not been for, 
had it not been for, you know, me branching out, <laughs> it wouldn't be no money. And also, had it not been for my other businesses, it wouldn't be no money. And also, that's another thing I've been learning, too. So, a lot of real estate agents also have a whole other full-time jobs and whatnot. Me, currently, I'm a college student, and I do have other businesses. But, you know, it took me a while to learn that, you know. A lot of these people that you be seeing on social media be full of cap. They be lying. And they're not, they're not factual when it comes to, you know, what they're actually doing outside of real life. But, yeah. Anyways, I hope this is helpful, and I hope this is transparent for anybody who's in the real estate business. Like, subscribe, and share.